Hello everyone, uh, my name is Franklin and I am a fourth year medical student at UNC Chapel Hill School of Medicine. This is HS Awareness Week and today I want to tell you a little bit about hydradenitis and one of the misconceptions that we frequently see. So the big stigma that patients are often told is somehow the HS is their fault. That number one is a hygiene issue. This could not be farther from the truth. We know that patients with HS take multiple showers a day. They're some of the most clean patients you'll ever meet. Um, their lesions are constantly draining. They're constantly having to change bandages. So they're frequently also showering throughout the day to kind of clean up. And they've also tried multiple soaps. They've probably tried every soap on the market. You know, one of the first things patients come in um, when I'm meeting them in clinic and they tell me is, you know, I've tried Dial soap. I've tried Irish Spring. I've tried Dove. I've tried them all and it won't go away. And unfortunately, this sort of stigma that HS is a hygiene issue is one that's very prevalent even among providers. So we need to, as a medical community, need to do a better job of educating both providers and patients that this is not a hygiene issue. Another thing we see is that HS patients are told that their disease is a result of smoking. We do know that there's a small correlative relationship between smoking and HS. However, it's not been proven to be a causal relationship. We know that patients who come into our clinic who are current smokers, are they begin treatment and they decide, you know what, I wanna stop smoking. They stop smoking, their HS does not go away. Unfortunately, another common misconception that patients are told is that you have HS because you're overweight. Now, we do also know that there is a small correlative relationship between body weight and HS, but it is not causal. We know that patients can come in to our clinic and lose 50 to 100 pounds or more, and their HS will not go away. We have to remember that HS is primarily a disease of inflammation around hair follicles, just like we have rheumatoid arthritis in the joints and IBD in the gut, HS is a long-term condition that patients learn to live with. Um, and we as a medical community need to do a better job of educating providers and patients that this is not their fault. This is not the fault of the patient. This is so sometimes just bad luck, sometimes genetics, but we need to do a better job of taking care of these patients.